Hey guys, welcome to my channel and we are going to solve question 9 which is the last question of 13.4 exercise. So it says that a right circular cylinder just enclosed a and just encloses a sphere of radius r. So find the sur uh, surface area of the sphere, curved surface area of cylinder, ratio of the areas obtained in first part and second part. So this is the figure for your question and in the first part as you have to find the surface area of the space. What is the formula for surface area of sphere? Surface area of sphere is equal to 4 pi r square. Now since you are already given that the radius is r, you just have to find the values. So it would be only equal to 4 pi r square. It would be uh, remaining like this only. And now moving on to the second part. So second part says that find the curved surface area of the cylinder. Now what is the curved surface area of a cylinder? Curved surface area of a cylinder of cylinder is equal to 2 pi rh. This is the formula. See, we have the radius. We have the radius as r but we don't have the height. See, what is the height? This is the height of the cylinder only and see, this part is r, this part is r. So, what is the height the height is this only and this part is r this part is r so r plus r is 2 r so this would be the height of the cylinder you would mention one line over here height of cylinder would be equal to r plus r is equal to twice of r curved surface area would be 2 into 22 by 7 into See, uh, if you uh, leave it like pi only, so let's leave it like pi only. No need to calculate. 2 pi into, now radius is r only and height is 2 r. So 2 2 is a 4 r square, 4 pi r square. See, if you see this thing and this thing, these both areas are same. Now let's see what third part says to us. Ratio of the areas obtained in first and second part. So clearly, 4 pi r square, we have to find ratio in first and second part. Na? So 4 pi r square, 4 pi r square, 1, 1, so 1 ratio. Very simple question. Nothing difficult I find in this question for you all. Basic, just one understanding thing is that how the height came. See, this is the height only. This upper part is r, this upper part is r, and if we add both these, you would get the height. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you are clear with the solution. And if you are not clear, then tell me in the comment section so that I can clear all your doubts. Till then, bye bye and I will see you all in the next video.